Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we are going to do exhaustive. Now exhaustive means all the events. They cover all the elements. Now let's take the following, right? I have numbers that are from 1 to 10. Event A is all the even numbers. Event B is all the odd numbers. Event C is all numbers smaller and equal to 7. Event D is all numbers greater than 5. Now, if I ask you, tell me if event A and B is exhaustive or not. So I got A, I'm working with event A and B. Right, what do we have? We know that they are even numbers and odd numbers, so they are not going to touch, right? So I'm specifically working with A and B, right? So in A, I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. In B, I have 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Now how do we decide if they are exhaustive? Exhaustive says, that if I take the P of A or B, it must equal to 1. Now you know from previous work that the formula for P of A or B is equal to P of A plus P of B minus P of A and B. Now in this one here we have P of A is 5 over 10. P of B is 5 over 10 minus P of A and B minus 0. So the P of A or B is equal to 1. Which means that the events of A and B is exhaustive. Now let's take the events of C and D. Now event C is all the numbers smaller and equal to 7. Now smaller than and equal to 7 means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. But look, event D is all the numbers greater than 5. So there is obviously an overlap. If I take greater than 5, I have got 5, 6 and 7. So if you were to write it down here, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And here we've got all the numbers greater than 5. So it's 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now what is overlapping? You see 6 and 7 is in both groups. So I have 6 and 7, but here I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And here I have 6 and 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, Using the same formula, remember this is going to be your heart of the formula. You are always going to try and use this formula. You will see when we did exhaustive, we proving that P A or B is equal to 1. When we did exclusive, we proved that P A or B is equal to P A plus P B. P A and B is equal to 0. But everything is around this specific formula. Now let us take this one. We have got that P of C plus P of D minus P of C and D must equal to 1. That is what we say. Because we want P of A or D to equal to 1. So P of C exactly is the same. P of C plus P of D minus P of A and D must equal to 1. Now what is P of C? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We have 7 over 10 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 over 10 minus 1, 2, 2 over 10. Now does this equal to 1? Yes, it does. So therefore, this event C or D is also exhaustive. Let's do one more related to the same thing. Now, I'm going to take event A and I'm going to take event D. So it's all the even numbers and all the numbers greater than 5. Now at event A, a, we can see it's going to be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 
again we have things that overlap, we have the 6 that overlaps, we have the 8 that overlaps and we have the 10 that overlaps. What do we have in our two circles? So we have event A and we have event D. We have 6, 8 and 10 that's common. 6, 8 and 10. Then for event A we still have 2 and 4 and for event B we still have 7 and 9. But we know we are counting from 1 to 10. So we have 1 is out, 2, 3 is out, 4, 5 is out, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now let us use the formula. Right, we have that P of A is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Remember we have to count all. We have to take the entire of A. So we have it as 5 over 10. Then we have P of B. Which is also 5 over 10. Then we have minus P of A and B which is 3 over 10. Now that gives us 5 plus 5 is 10 minus 3 is 7 over 10. Therefore, event A and D is not exhaustive. Because we did not use up all the elements. So when we say exhaustive, exhaustive means it needs to use all the elements. Remember, exhaustive means that P of A or B must equal to 1. It doesn't matter if it's inclusive or if it is exclusive. Now for inclusive you know the formula. For exclusive what you need to prove is that P of A and B is equal to 0. Thank you for watching.